YouTube, today we're gonna be taking a look at my brand new minimal M2 Pro Mac Mini setup. And since the Mac Mini is a small footprint, this desk setup is as well. And that's the beauty about the Mac Mini is you can place it in small places and make big things happen, especially since they added the M2 Pro chip. So let's get into it. Now, starting off this setup, obviously we have the M2 Pro Mac Mini in this base configuration. Now, if you need more, I have a video that I just released kind of showing you, hey, when you get into updating this thing to a certain degree, you might want to look at the M1 Max Mac Studio. But that's a video that you guys can go check out. Now, the next thing that we have in this setup is the Apple Studio Display. All right, so the Studio Display is a 27-inch 5K Retina display with a 12-megapixel ultra-wide camera that has center stage, three mics, and six speakers with spatial audio, 600 nits of brightness, one billion colors, and a P3 wide color gamut. What more could you want in a display? I mean, yes, there's a thousand nits, and maybe OLED. Now, my personal experience with the Studio Display since launch has been nothing but phenomenal. I've been able to edit videos without missing my monitor system. Now, I use monitors because I'm an audio professional. And anytime I was absent of my professional studio monitors and I relied on the studio displays speaker system, it was absolutely phenomenal and great. Actually, that was my setup for a very long time until recently. And let's just be honest, the studio display just brings that Apple aesthetic to the forefront. And right now there's a crushing deal on Amazon for 12% off. Hit the link down in the description below and get this thing with $200 knocked off the price point. I wish I got it that way. All right, neither here nor there. Let's get into the next thing that's in this minimal setup. Considering that you're gonna need a mouse and a keyboard, it's easy to go with Apple's keyboard. And one of the pluses, what I love, especially on this new M1 and M2 architecture, is the Touch ID wireless keyboard. Now, I got the full keyboard over here, but if you don't want the full keyboard and you're trying to save on space, there's also a smaller version available and they both have Touch ID. Why is Touch ID so clutch with Apple? It's because I can use Apple Pay from that. I can unlock my machine with that. I can do a lot of things as far as passwords and so forth, and that's just going back to that Apple ecosystem that just offers so much convenience. So I highly recommend Apple's wireless keyboards with the Touch ID. D, and they only are available with the M1s and M2s. Now, next to that keyboard, I have the dreaded Magic Mouse from Apple. Some people may like it, so I just put it there for them. Now, my favorite mouse of all time has been the Logitech MX. It's so ergonomic, so comfortable, and just so versatile. This is my go-to mouse every single desk setup. I've had it since the MX Master to the 2, to the 2S, to the now the 3. And now they have the 3S for you to grab. You can hit the link down in the description below. They have it offered in this medium gray, or you can grab a black one as well. Match your setup, have an ergonomic experience, and enjoy my favorite mouse. But if you are more into the Apple aesthetic and you wanna go with the Apple Magic Mouse, then so be it. You can also opt in for Apple's Magic Trackpad, which this is another item that I like and use as well because it's just reminiscent of the trackpad on the laptop and it's literally bringing you that exact same experience to the desktop. So those are the mouse options that I would choose between for this M2 Pro Mac mini setup. Now there's another thing that I'm adding into this setup which is just making ports more accessible and also more abundant. This is the CalDigit TS3. This has been a must in my setup for so long long. It expands the ports. It gives me an SD card reader up front as well as the headphone jack up front, which is an issue on the Mac Mini because they're in the rear. Now, the Mac Mini does not have an SD card reader, but as far as the headphone jack and all of the ports, they're all in the rear. Now, the ports are still in the rear of the cow digit, but they're also in the front, making it convenient for those things that you need to plug in quickly, maybe like a thumb drive or something that you just need to read really fast and get to it and get out. You have that access with the TS3 Plus. Now, I personally have upgraded currently to the TS4, which gives you Thunderbolt 4 connectivity. More ports, more SD card slots, just more overall. And this thing is a great abundance. And it's also on sale just like the TS3 Plus was currently on Amazon. So hit the link down in the description below. There's another thing that you guys might be thinking about if you're trying to build a pro environment and that's storage. So let's just keep it a buck. Apple's storage is 
pricey. I'm not gonna lie, but if you take a look right here, I have a solution for you guys. Now this OWC Mini Stack STX storage solution is absolutely phenomenal. Not only is it giving you a Thunderbolt 4 port expansion, bringing your four Thunderbolt 4 ports up to seven. It also offers a fast storage solution, giving you the option of whatever size you choose and a 3.5 inch hard drive for the long-term storage, as well as a super fast and snappy M.2 SSD. You gotta check this thing out. And the cherry on top, it's the exact same dimensions as your Mac Mini, meaning you can put your Mac Mini right on top of this and it's gonna blend seamlessly into your minimal setup, not taking up any extra desk space, just adding a little height to the Mac Mini. But nevertheless, it's giving you so much more in port options, port solutions, and storage solutions. So enjoy it. The M2, M1, no matter which one you're rolling with, is all booming right now. And if you wanna get a part of it, join it. This is my minimal M2 Pro Mac Mini setup and I can't get enough. More videos coming soon. So I don't know if you guys have been under a rock or whatnot, but the brand new M2 Apple computers have dropped and I'm giving you up-to-date coverage on them. Now the M2 Pro is a beast. All of the benchmark numbers, all of the performance in video processing, the performance in programming, the performance just in general for everyday use is all up there. And it's a continuance of what we got with the M1, but even more better and more efficient. So. I can't complain, neither can you. Let's get into some more M2 Pro Mac Mini content coming to you. Peace. Honestly, I'm just at a loss for words right now.